Cliff, uh, big weekend last weekend. But before you start, I want to get I want to talk about that a little bit. But I want to let people know, and I think a lot of people already know, you've got a 14 game winning streak going. You guys lead the league at with by seven points. You 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 your home streak winning streak is nine games. Yeah. On top of that, and it's just going fantastic. And talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, you know. It's it's been a good run, and uh, we're hoping to continue it. But you know, it's it's great being at home. The home crowd is is really starting to to figure out what we are. We talked about it before that first weekend. Uh, you know, people were trying to really understand what the Royals were all about. You know, they they didn't know uh, what we were really, and now I think uh, we're what three home series into this thing now, and mm-hmm. and with uh, the help of the the puckheads over there and adding some atmosphere and uh, of course the beer sales, you know, I, I think people are starting to really enjoy what we're putting out there, and the winning helps obviously. The winning's big, uh, but I think we're putting on a good show as well. And Lane King uh, from Madison, Wisconsin, originally. Yes, I am. Welcome to the show. And uh, Lane, uh, you uh, you lead the league or lead the team rather in scoring, and you're an assist kind of guy. Yes. Talk a little bit about that, would you? I uh, just uh, when I was growing up, my dad always taught me to share the puck. <laughs> this was when I was probably six to seven years old, and since then it's just carried over. I always look to find other people who are open, and uh, if I'll if the right play is to shoot, I will. If not, I'll pass and. A goal's a goal, really. Goes on the scoreboard the same. <laughs> That's what wins the games. Exactly. What's it like uh, being out on the ice lane and, and, and seeing the opening where you can make that pass? And, and you know, knowing as fast as hockey is, it's got to be precision. Yeah, a lot of that comes with uh, just experience. The older you get and the faster the game gets, you just kind of uh, see things quicker and you can see what the play is going to end up being. So you can read where the puck's going to be and not where it's at currently. So that kind of helps me with uh, with passing, especially. Have your teammates learned to keep their stick on the ice? <laughs> yeah, they better. <laughs> <laughs> if not, they're going to miss some passes. Yeah, no doubt about and that. And then coach will yell at them for that. <clears throat> and, and as well it should be. Uh, talk a little bit, Lane, about uh, the excitement around the net then uh, as as the play finally develops. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. I mean, when the puck gets towards the net, especially in close games, um, energy gets really high and... Uh, when the goal scores, especially the puck heads up in the corner, they go crazy. And, so you hear uh, those guys? Oh yeah, loud and clear. <laughs> it's hard not to. <laughs> really, it is. You know, and I've watched hockey games with the puck heads, and I know they're uh, they're they're about the most rabid hockey fans, and that's saying a lot. Oh yeah, for absolutely. the area that I that I've that I know of. Yeah, the drums really add something to the game. So it, it really is something when the crowd gets involved. And Cliff, would you say that uh, the crowd the crowd is almost like a seventh player on the ice for you guys? Yeah, they've been big for us. You know, especially like I was saying earlier. Now that they're uh, starting to get an idea of what we're all about, uh, you know, they're they're really getting behind us, and it, it's been a big deal for us. You know, it gets our guys fired up when when they know that the crowd's behind them. Uh, I think even our players, to a point early on, were kind of unsure of what to expect, but now everybody's getting on board. You know, it's just been a really, really fun atmosphere over at Lakeview. And, uh, you know, it's good for everybody. It's good for the players to get excited. It's good for the talent to back a winner here. And, you know, like I said, we're, we're doing well. We're at 14-2. and two. We've got the nice home win streak going. We've got a couple more coming up. So, Talking to uh, Cliff Cook, who's assistant, assistant head coach of the Marquette Royals, along with Lane King, who is a forward with the team. And, guys, thanks for joining me again. And uh, tell us, uh, Cliff, uh, what fans have to look forward to now as the season continues. Well, the nice thing is, at least for the the players and coaching staff, is we have a weekend off here. Um, good timing, as mm-hmm. was the last weekend off. But then we've got two more home weekends in a row. Uh, we have uh, the number three team in our division, the Wooster Oilers, coming to town, and they're they're another tough team. Um, and then the following weekend, we uh, we get a visit from the number four Central Wisconsin Saints, who we've already visited and had a a bit of an exciting weekend with. You know, there was. Uh, I think there ended up being about seven fights that weekend and some close games. So I expect uh, much the same from Wooster and from Central Wisconsin. So we're excited. It's going to be, we've got a nice run here. Yeah, we had the one weekend where, you know, the scores weren't as close as maybe people would have liked to have seen. Um, but, you know, that's that's going away now. The teams coming in right now are, are, are tough. They're going to give us a battle. And, you know, as we've talked about, being, being at that top spot right now, everybody's gunning for us. So we know every weekend we're going to have to bring it. Yeah, you're gonna. You got a target on your back, no question about that. For sure. Uh, and Lane, uh, what what are you looking forward to now for the rest of the season? I know the Ileana Blackbirds was was a tough series, and like Coach says, you've got a couple other tough series coming up. 
Yeah, just looking to get better as a team. Um, we're really coming together, and guys are getting to know each other and how we play, uh, different styles and stuff like that. So it's nice um, going forward with all the with the win streak and stuff. Guys are really motivated to get better, and uh, you can see it on the ice and practice and during the games. And it's going to be a fun rest of the year. Are you guys getting to a point now where you really trust each other? Yeah, that's the biggest thing when you start out is you don't know each other, and some guys play together, but some didn't. And then once once the season kicks off, and you know you can kind of see everyone's playing style, you uh, you really start to trust each other, and that's the biggest thing with the hockey team. Without trust, you're not going to go very far. And you guys got some good goaltending going on as well. We have some fantastic goaltending. You know, all four of our guys right now are leading up in the top of the division, um, and you know we've got. Our, our two guys with five wins, uh, Nate Eminger and, and the local boy from Nagani, Bryce Leaf, uh, they're both up towards the top in, in save percentage in the division and the league. So, you know, it's it's been nice. We consider ourselves a very offensive team, but it's nice when you got a strong decor and great goaltending behind to kind of help with that. And the numbers kind of bear that out. You know, we're, uh, we lead the league in goals for at 101 in our you know 16 games, I guess, and we've only given up 34. So... You know, it's it's uh, that's e- a great ratio. It's easy to win games when you're putting up numbers like that. Well, you you guys had said uh, when you when, before the season started that you worked hard to find the great players that you needed for this town, and and you found them. And now, like you said, you, the success has been there. You got to take a weekend off, and then you need people to fill the house to for support sure. the team on the next two home stands. We absolutely do. I, I think the word's starting to get out. You know, it's. It's a good, fun brand of hockey we play, uh, and the teams that come in do much the same. You know, we play a physical style of hockey. We play a fast style of hockey. Guys like, you know, Lane over here that can move the puck, and, you know, we, we have some really, really high-skilled players. And, uh, you know, as we talked about over and over again, the beer sales are going well. Dollar mm-hmm. fifty Labatt Blue, you can't beat it. Wish I was in the stands and out on the bench sometimes. <laughs> really? Uh, especially this past weekend when some of the excitement was going on on the ice. But, uh you know, it's, it's a great value. We've talked about it over and over and over mm-hmm. again. There's not a better value in town for going to watch a sporting event. You know, $6 for a ticket and $1.50 for a beer. I mean, you can't beat it. And $4 for? $4 for kids and mm-hmm. students. Uh, 10 and under free. We've got uh, the senior pricing, 65 and over, 5 bucks, And... Uh, isn't there a, a break for a military people? Active military with ID in hand. Yeah, it's $2. So, you know, what, what more do you need right there? You can't beat it. You know what? Bring a military, a person that's home from the military, bring him to the game and buy him a beer. Oh, absolutely. That's, Can't beat yeah, it. Oh, that, that'd be the great. We'd love to see a bunch of guys in uniform up there with uh, enjoying a game and having a little pop. You know. Yep, absolutely. Well, Lane, good luck. <clears throat> and we'll be watching and we'll be paying attention. And, uh, and, and great job. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me, guys. Cliff Cook, assistant head coach from uh, the Marquette Royals and Lane King forward. And we're going to pay attention, obviously, to find out what's going on and keep, uh, keep, keep an eye on what's happening. So we'll be looking forward to next weekend.